Welcome to, uh, as she said, DFW Normal's first meeting. I'm Sean McAllister. I'm the executive director of DFW Normal. How many people this year first normal? Something. Yeah? Oh, that's a good percentage. Welcome, guys. This is a. Uh, this is the best way to get it started is just to show up for something and see what we're all about. And we used to struggle to throw an event that brought out 20, 30, 50 people. Now we throw events that bring out 400 people. And we pack, we pack venues. Uh, because what we're doing is not only popular, it's already accepted. And the politicians are not going to lead on this. The people have to. And so it takes us coming out and making a big deal about weed. Yeah, it's just a plant, but we're going to make a big damn deal about it until you can take it seriously enough to help us change the laws a little bit because prohibition has caused far more harm to this community and every other community than marijuana ever could, ever could. And so it's up to us to stand up and say we've had enough. These are the ideas that we have to change the laws uh, and let's have a damn good time every time we get together. So thank you very much guys for making these events happen. Oh, oh. I appreciate that. It's just a joy to be a part of the organization and be able to do things productive and assertive and just uh, and be appreciated, so it's just a, a joy to be a part of one. To me, this is not just a relationship, it's a family thing. So um, so anyone that wants to holler at me about things that you guys want to bring to the table, let me know because I'd love to help and assist in any way possible so we can get this word out and do what we do best, you know what I mean? Uh, so to say thanks to Pete, we're giving Pete this uh, fine hemp backpack. It's a pack normal with Rick Steves hemp backpack. Please enjoy it in your travels. I hope it contains all kinds of yummy stuff that you're gonna bring home to me. Can't wait to roll this up. Oh, please roll it up. <laughs> it's got a light on. <laughs> and this is our first meeting of the year. And damn, y'all look good. So the person that we are going to recognize, this guy has actually, he, without him, Kronika and Day of the Dank would not have gone as smoothly with the band. This person, he's personally like my best friend. So Colin Mom, can you please come up here? Because we want to give you a polo for how awesome you've been. Uh, I've been involved with Normal uh, just a little over a year now, so uh, it's it's quite easy to get involved. That's what I try to show people, that if you really want to put forth effort, we're a welcoming organization, and it's quite easy to, to come around and, and be part of the group, be part of the family. So it's a great organization to be a part of. Thanks. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, so I'd like to welcome Attorney Chad West. Chad, welcome. Chad is on the National Normal Legal Committee and is also a lifetime member of Normal. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit about how he's getting involved with us and uh, how he's going to help us take help take us a little bit further legislatively than I think that we've ever been. So, Chad, thanks. Thanks. Uh, just a couple points on the legislative efforts, uh, and thanks for that, Sean. We uh, have a long way to go uh, to put a good, solid bill um, in front of the legislature by March. And uh, there, there's been an effort so far to pull together what we can, but we've got about a month and a half, really just a month, to get a good, solid bill together. And I want to present the very best bill that we can to the legislature. We have at least one state senator who's interested in, in um, looking at our bill. So. I could use some help because I want to put the very best bill that we can in front of them. So if you or someone you know um, is a good writer, please reach out to me. Uh, you can get to me through Sean or, or Larry, um, and I'd love to meet with you guys. Um, so thank you for welcoming me here. Uh, I've been to a lot of uh, meetings uh, for different groups, and I've spoken with them. And this is definitely one of the, the coolest groups for sure. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. And uh, also, you can definitely feel the passion and the energy in the room. And that's one of the reasons I'm involved with Normal. You know, I'm, I'm passionate about the organization itself and, and the cause, of course. Um, but I, I like the people, and I, I love it that you guys have so much energy and passion. It makes me want to come back and bring more people. So thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, two things, popularity and acceptance. As we know, skateboarding is becoming more popular and more accepted around as of Random Old Skate Park being just made for us because we've been here and we're not going anywhere just like normal. We can go around just by having a skateboard, just by knowing who skates, what trick you can do. We're already friends, just like I can pass you something, you can pass me something and we're already friends. 
basically we're just trying to reach out to that demographic of people like there's a huge community there that are interested in uh, the reformation of marijuana laws and we can definitely reach out to each and every one of them through skateboarding and I hope to see this uh, organization grow through it. Thank you. We just got to get creative with how we spend that money. Hence the skating team. Hence there's been talk of billboards. There's all kinds of different things that we could do. Yeah, a billboard in, in Dallas-Fort Worth is about $3,000 away. So who's got five on it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, up next, I'm going to actually bring Tristan up really quick. Uh, he's got a couple things to talk about, the least of which is recognizing a very special guest that's here with us tonight. So Tristan is the executive director of UNT Normal. Give him a hand. We have a, a member that I'm going to introduce in a few minutes who has a court case coming up. Uh, National Normal has called Zach uh, the Texas Marijuana Moxie, which basically means that he's got the biggest balls of them all. And uh, rather, than, uh, rather than take a plea and do his time, he's decided to take it to a trial and let the jury uh, decide whether or not possession of cannabis is a real crime. So we're hoping to set a precedent so that the next time any of you guys get busted for pot, they can't send you to a cage. Um, so that's one of the big things we have going on. We're going to do a protest the morning of the case. We're going to hand out jury nullification pamphlets. Uh, for those of you who don't know what jury nullification is, essentially if you're a juror, you do not have to convict anybody for any reason. If you disagree with the law, say no. Nobody can coerce you into voting to convict somebody for anything. So if you think that, you know, if you're put on a, on a possession case and you're like, hey, you know, this guy obviously had, you know, a gram of pot in his pocket. The cop had it. Here it is for evidence. Say no. Fuck them. Yeah. And so, uh, anyways, yeah, I want to uh, introduce Zach. Uh, Zach, he's uh, not able to really speak right now, but uh, if you please come up, I'd like everybody to, to give a round of applause to Zach. What's up, guys? Jury nullification, look it up. Everybody, uh, keep up to date. There, uh, National Normals put an article online. I've put an article online. I think Sloan's put an article online. Uh, if you haven't heard of Zach, you should definitely look into his case. Uh, he, he is our easy out here. Uh, not only is he uh, going to have the best legal representation in the state, uh, but, but I think that they're also trying to look into a medical necessity as well for him. Uh, so that's all I've got. Yeah, he does uh, amazing work. And so he's going to create our first DFW Normal piece, so I'm going to let him talk about some of his ideas really quick. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It's kind of the concept that I'm going to kind of go with, in a way, uh, for this uh, particular piece. Uh, the plan is to uh, have the uh, DFW Normal uh, logo on the inside of the piece. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the idea is that it's actually going to be raffled off, correct? Yeah, so uh, he's, I, is that piece for sale? That piece is for sale. He's got all kinds of awesome glass. You should definitely look him up on Facebook. Earl Junior Glass. Uh, I'm now the director for uh, Texas Coalition for Compassionate Care, and uh, our main focus is uh, medicinal marijuana. We're focusing on uh, making sure that people have safe access to their medicine without having to worry about getting busted for for taking care of themselves. Um, we're looking for volunteers and like Sean said we're trying to we want to work together with uh, DFW Normal and uh, you know see what we can get done here and uh, I'm not used to speaking in front of this many people so if anybody has any questions after I'd love to talk to you guys. It's good to see everybody. Thanks. blew through that agenda, didn't we, guys? Wow, we made some great time. And so that means that DFW Normal gets mentioned all over the country, even though we're just right here in Dallas-Fort Worth, throwing parties, writing legislation, writing blogs, passing out brochures. We're just doing what we can do, but we're making a big deal about it, and people are noticing. National Normal notices. They, everybody sees what we're doing. We're really leading now, and it's because of outstanding volunteers that really decide to make this a priority priority in their lives that we've gotten so far in such a short amount of time. It's the reason that we're throwing live music events every other month or so that bring out hundreds of people. It's the reason that we're working on bills that are going to be submitted for consideration by the Texas legislature. 
And so it's just, we really, really have a lot going on. And so I encourage every single one of you to find a way to get involved because whatever you're into, marijuana makes it better, I assure you. Yeah. And so just come and be normal with us because we'll find a way. And so uh, real quick, I, def I wanna let somebody talk. What's made this event successful is just the fact that all the supporters have come out, you know, so that's what actually made this, you know, success. It wasn't the fact that they threw it, it was the fact that they were supported. And not just from you guys, but it was also from you guys spreading the word and letting everybody know what we got to offer and having everyone be a part of it. So,